Hi, my name is Sarot, and I am presenting you with uh, well a small tutorial on Star Trek Online and an introduction to the game. You can see here I am with another character. This is my lieutenant level eight science officer. Uh, of if we go in here, uh, we see she is a betasoid female. Betasoids by obligation re receive empathic, empathic and telepathic. She will get a little bonus to damage and she will generate less aggro, less threat than the rest of than another characters doing the same action she does. She also got uh, a bonus to enhance uh, the, her powers with creative that means she will help for more. And with astrophysicist, she is better with this, uh, with uh, well science skills in the ship. It's mostly uh, of the wikia Star Trek Online wikia, which you can find using Google. Uh, building of of uh, characteristics, especially for grounds. So here uh, she is level eight, and on level seven you get access to the duty officer system. I have one assignment completed. Hey, I recruited successfully something. Yes, a junior officer cadre. Cadre. Well, however, that means I got more duty officers. And here is Commander Viala. I am right now in Starfleet Academy in the upper left corner near uh, this yellow bubble which is library computer access and Lieutenant Farah which is in there this Kaitian in there who is in charge of uh, selling you special duty officers right now Commander Viala gives us <coughs> two quests these two quests are, uh, can be repeated every 20 hours the first one consists just on going here use the computer and getting a, a data chip. This data chip here you can use and get an accolade and then you can go for the next uh, for the other quest in here and test your knowledge. <coughs> that passed to 2409 volume 22 chapter 1. Where did Selan General Vlad Mill on 2401? I don't have the least idea. Rator 3, by the way, is the new capital of the Romulan Empire. So I'll go to the lower page in the Star Trek Online Wiki and I will search for Volume 22, Chapter 1. Seta Volanis was the correct answer. Okay, perfect. If you fail, then you won't be able to take another shot at it until 20 hours after that. And this is relevant because, hey, Assets, that means in-game currency, energy credits, gold press latinum, dial lithium. Energy credits you get for selling stuff and you can buy stuff in the exchange, which is like the action house. Uh, gold press latinum, you get it from playing Devil, which is the Ferengi's roulette. And you usually you will use it for duty officer missions one or two missions in the game and uh, something else. Don't feel so lucky with double. It's uh, the sign so you can exchange uh, energy credits for gold press latinum and a, fi and a almost fixed rate. Uh, dilithium you can you will get uh, dilithium ore by completing some events and daily missions and with duty officers and this is the reason this is important I got 480 just for answering a question. I can refine 8000 dilithium per day with each character. Uh, now, uh, duty officers, you can see here there are some details, notes, and everything else. Well, first overview it will sell, uh, tell me how many open slots I have. I can fill 12 more assignments. 8 are in progress, 0 are complete. I have 56 duty officers of a total of 100. 13 of them are vision assignments. And I have 0 on sick bay and 0 active. 
uh, they are still active means they are unable to perform any action but they are assigning here in a pool in here or in here and they will provide with bonuses for example if I promote this to active duty there's a chance to reduce the, in two seconds the cooldown of a, of a grenade uh, personally I've, I'd go with uh, some medical that would uh, give me some bonuses when I heal but right now I have too few breach of uh, duty officers to feel comfortable with sending them to active duty besides I'm using this character just for that deletion farming there, there and passive leveling you can see the assignments are uh, divided in diplomatic, engineering, medical, colonial, etc. 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 So uh, you can see there are so, uh, this, which means there I lack some items. This, which means I lack a duty officer required, I don't have a bartender. So the only thing I can do is send my people to drink in the town. You can see some traits are marked in red and some traits are marked in green and his, here is the requirement of officer uh, it takes 20 hours to complete this assignment also I have white, green, blue and purple level officers that gives a bonus to the completion of the assignment you can see the casualty, the, uh, the casualty risk is low that means there is low possibility of uh, the people I sent to have drinks at town to earn to come back injured. So right now I'm going to send these people who give me a bonus to completion. And since I don't see much green in here, I don't see any red either, which is good. I'm telling, hey, show me all my this, my free officers right now. Here's a congenial one and another congenial one. Perfect. We start the assignment and there it goes. You, you, uh, this is a sector assignment in Earth. Each time you change sector in the game, you can you should check here and see what uh, assignments you can give to your duty officers. You can't uh, make any assignments when you are on an active mission. Uh, then there uh, you have shipboard. Uh, assignments which follow the same rules and you can see some are marked in gold that's because uh, uh, that's because they are new from last week's uh, or two weeks ago update to the duty officer system and the release we can see it in the C store of the gamma of the gamma quadrant duty officer cadre <coughs> Well, uh, again, you can see that this requires C points. Uh, this is the, pay the real money payment component of the game. But there is also another option. You can go here to more, and besides visit the bridge of your ship, uh, you can visit the Dilithium Exchange. Here you can sell C points for Dilithium in here. Or you can go here and do the other way around. You can uh, spend the lithium and get uh, cryptic points in return. It has been on the rise for the last days, but uh, it's fairly stable right now and around 250. <coughs> and uh, I believe this covers most of the things you need to know about duty officer's system. Uh, also, there are here you nominate your department heads. Not really a matter. And I should mention about uh, qualities. Okay. Uh, qualities of the duty officers means they give you a flat bonus to everything they do, to the assignment they are with. Uh, White being a, f a plus zero percent, green being a plus five percent, blue a ten percent, and purple a twenty percent. In the case of bridge officers, that is only relevant for ground missions. Uh, white uh, level 
officers like uh, Anthe in here. We'll go to passives and we see there's nothing really impressive. This other one is basic resilient and basic creative because he is a uh, white, uh, white level that is a common bridge officer. I have here a human tactical officer candidate. You get uh, them by leveling and by doing uh, assignments from time to time uh, down here will show up a uh, recruitment in, in the sector in the in soul system you can try to recruit more duty officers or bridge officers so let's get this I, let's, you can say train up in case you have a full rooster of bridge officers you can say train up and she can uh, t teach any of her skills to an appropriate member of your uh, bridge officer cadre. However, I won't be wasting her like so. I'll tell her to join. I can go ahead and make a and customize her both in name and uniform the way I did with my character. Or I can hit OK and do that later, which I will do later. I will also here say. She also will deploy in my on my uh, standard away team. She is in here. It, here are the, her capabilities, and she has attack pattern omega three, which is kind of good. Uh, you know, when the officer is not uncommon, it's not, it's not common. Sorry. It has a chance to have a level 3 useful skill in, in the commander slot. Those can only be teached and can only be taught uh, if the player teaches them. Uh, so you can't really <coughs> uh, you can't really I, you can have stuff in here, but uh, the best you can go to our space dog, space dog, and tell, teach my bridge officer, la 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 la. It's uh, the second level, not the third. And if we go to status passives, she has basic lucky. Oh well, she doesn't have the the superior anything, but it would be twice as good as. The, as the common version of the officer. Anyway, this covers here, and uh, I'm going to check on the exchange and give you a few pointers on that. Okay, here is the tailor, and here we can customize clothing, both ours and of our crew. We can change the name, we can change the the uniform, etc. You can also uh, make your off-duty clothing. Uh, you get uh, one uniform, then you get another one uh, when you level up, and a third one when you join a fleet. Fleet is like other games, guilds. Now here we can access the bank, we can buy more slots, and we can access the mail. Uh, mails can have uh, as you can see here, can have attachments, and the attachments uh, can only be taken if you use uh, a, con a mail console. If you go in here, you can send messages, you can receive messages, but you can cannot take the items. Okay. Uh, by the way, failure, failed uh, duty officer missions won't uh, give you any kind of. Uh, <coughs> Rewards, beating experience points on whatever. The exchange is quite uh, funny. I was to I was talking before about a ship that was quite valuable. There we go. Special requisition pack, Galor ship, 80 million credits. Oh dear. Anyway, you place here the name of whatever thing you want to sh to search. Then you can hit search, and it will be and it will show in here. You can sort by price or name. And you can search the items by the rank. 
the rank is related to your character's level. Every 10 levels you will gain a rank. From Lieutenant you will be promoted to Lieutenant Commander. Then you will be promoted to Commander, to Captain and finally to Rear Admiral. Uh, you gain levels by gaining experience points and will gain ranks by, its, by spending them. Now this is a talent tree uh, window, mine to be precise, the, the average officer is, is different as you can see here, and the ship has no talents at all, and uh, these ones cost a thousand points each, these ones, the, the lieutenant commander cost uh, 1500, these ones cost 2000, 2500, something like that it was I believe, or maybe these ones were 500, I'm not sure right now, no, oh, 1000. Anyway, it goes like, though, like so. Mm. What was I going to tell you besides that? <laughs> Well, that's mostly mostly it about uh, talents. Uh, you are limited to 300,000 uh, experience points in space and 100,000 experience points in grounds. Also, you will earn only 300,000 uh, sorry, 366,000 experience points in a, when, until you reach level 50 which is the highest of all. Anyway, as I was telling in the exchange, you can search items by rank or by quality, common and common, rare by rare. When we talk about uh, equipment or gear like uh, armor, uh, kits, uh, well, armor and shields and weapons and consoles for the ships, deflectors, etc. Usually, uh, the quality relates to the rank. The better, the higher the rank, the better the quality. And the higher the quality, the better. For example, but uh, it relates in a way that, for example, a lieutenant very rare item is the same thing that a lieutenant commander rare item, which is the same thing as a commander uncommon item etc. The names change, but uh, the bonus they give is essentially the same. I've seen Rear Admiral Upper Half very rare items that are much more cheaper than BC Admiral items that were rare. There are no very rare items right now of BC Admiral level, I believe. At least, uh, the, well, yes, there are some. <laughs> Disruptor Beam Rays, Mark 12. Uh, I suggest you to, before placing anything in the exchange at, uh, to sell, check uh, its value uh, compared to items that are already, already been there and to check the value of the item. Uh, if the item is cost, for example, this is shown as costing 200 energy credits. If you, uh, if you say that if you find this engine battery in the exchange for 50 credits, then it's less money than than it co than you would get by discarding the item. By discarding an item, you break it, and you get some energy credits. However, if you go to Replicator and Retrieve, you can get it back for that same uh, price until you change the map. If I destroy an item and leave this map, I w th that item will be destroyed forever. <coughs> also, by hitting Control, left click and moving, you can change the amount of items you move. <coughs> This is relevant for the times when you need to work with the fleet's bank and you don't have a permission to take out more than three or four items. 
the item you want is in a stack of 20 or something and you are like oh dear anyway again a small and quick uh, revision energy credits are used both for the replicator food and, and resources you might need these for duty officer missions and sometimes for missions in the game and you use the energy credits also for the exchange and for a few other stuff like renaming your ship, uh, personalizing the ship's interior, etc. Uh, well, this has been episode 2. I hope you liked it and I hope you will watch episode 3 which will show you Earth Space Dog and ship selection uh, with my next character which is my engineer level 50 vice admiral. Fa uh, bye!